Hey, what's up you guys? I'm gonna to try to keep this video as short and simple as possible. Now, when you create an account on MyFitnessPal, they're gonna ask you for your weight, how much you wanna lose every week. I always recommend 0.2 um, kilograms every week, not more than that, but you can put whatever you want. And um, they're gonna put the calories in for you and all that, but we're gonna adjust it right now after I explain what to do step-by-step step right now. Now look at the top left button, those lines right there. You're gonna click on that, okay? And you're gonna go to diary. You see it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. And then you have your calories written at the top, okay? Here, you're gonna type in breakfast, and you're gonna type in the food that you've been eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. There's already foods that are already in there, but the thing is, you have to know the amount of food that you've been eating. So if you haven't been weighing your food, buy a scale, weigh it out so that you know, because you're going to need it later on anyway. So you might as well just get the scale before you start anything, okay? And weigh it. You see I have halloumi cheese, I have eggs in there. It lets you know. You click on it, okay? And then you click on, hold on, at the top it says number of servings. You click on that. And you can choose. It lets you know by grams, by pounds, tablespoons, all of that, one egg. And you choose what's best for you, okay? Then on the top right, you click check. Then it will be there. Once you add foods in there, it will always be in your list. So it's not like you always have to search for the foods all the time. You can just start putting all the foods in there from now, just so when you want to do anything and add it, you don't have to look for it, okay? So then you're going to add in all your foods, and then you're going to look at the top. You see at the top it says 1,400 on the left, my goal. And then now I typed in the two medium eggs. It counted 126 calories, and it lets you know the remaining, okay? After you put all the foods in one day, I want you to see what the calories are in the end. If it's 1,500, 1,200, 1,000, 3,000, whatever it is, Take that number and now go to the top left button, click on that, and now go click on your goals. You see under diary, you have progress and then written goals. Click on goals. Now you're going to adjust it, okay? So you see, look in the middle area, it says nutrition goals. Right under the nutrition goals, it says calorie, carbs, protein, and fat goals. I want you to click on that. Now, you're going to take the calories that you used to eat, and you're going to type it in here. You see where it says calories? Click on that. Now, let's say you've been eating 1,800. Save. Now, here we're going to go to the carbs, protein, and fat. You can click on either one. They're all going to open up. Now, this is the most important thing that you have to adjust according to your diet if you want to be on a ketogenic diet. So, your protein is going to be 20. Your fat is going to be 75, and then your carbs are going to be five. But we want to get the carbs from vegetables because there are carbs that come from fruits. There are carbs that come from bread and pasta and rice and all of that. So we want to get those as much as we can from vegetables to make sure that your liver is healthy, the fat is being digested, absorbed, and is able to flush efficiently, okay? Okay. So then you click OK. Now we're going to go back <clears throat> and we're going to go back to our diary. OK, when you start putting your foods in, you're going to scroll all the way at the bottom. You see on the left bottom on top of complete diary, it says nutrition. You click on nutrition and then you see it says at the top calories, nutrients and macros. It's cool because when you click on nutrients, it lets you know, you know, your potassium, your sodium, like where you're reaching. Now you click on macros and you see your macros. It lets you know if you're reaching your goal or not, or if you're going over or under. So you see, you click on protein. Oh, wow, I only ate 11 protein. I have to reach 90 protein to be able to be in the right ratio, okay? You go back, you click on fat. Oh, wow, I still have, look how much fat I have left, you know? So before you start your day, you can actually put the foods that you would like to eat and then you see if it's reaching the ratio and it's reaching your goal instead of eating the food and then being like, oh my God, I got to reach this, I got to reach that and I'm full. You know what I mean? 
or, you know, I didn't reach it today or I was too high on my protein after the meal. So try to do everything in advance. This isn't something that you have to calculate all the time. You can stick to the same foods that you're eating and just, you know, just so you don't have to be bothered about this stuff. But once, and you can do like three options. That's what I do. Three breakfast options, three lunch op- options, and three dinner options. And you ha- already have everything calculated. You know what I mean? And you have three different days. So it's like one day, these are the meals you eat. The second day, these are the meals you eat. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so then you don't have to worry about it. But don't forget, if you are eating less, you need to make sure that you go back and you fix those calories. You go to the top and you go back to your goals and you go back to the right there where where it says car, calorie, carbs, protein, fat goals, and you change it. If you're starting to eat from 1,800 to 1,200 or from 1,200 to 1,800, adjust it, okay? This is just for now. It's not something that you have to do forever, but if you're struggling with your insulin or insulin resistance or belly weight or retaining a lot of water around your body, these type of things, this is a really great diet for that. And just you do it for a couple of months and you slowly get back onto a balanced diet. Let me mind you, let me just make sure that to mention that if you've been eating a lot of carbs, slowly go into the keto. Don't go full-blown keto all of a sudden. If you've been eating rice and bread and having juices and Coke, cut Coke out. Then slowly cut the juices out. Then slowly cut the bread out, little by little, so that you don't have such a big withdrawal when you first start the ketogenic diet and you don't feel overwhelmed, all right? If you have any questions, you guys, just leave a comment below. I hope that you guys really understood this. Um, And yeah, just, you know, let me know your updates. Let me know what you're doing, what stages you're going through if you decide to do this kind of diet, all right? Have a beautiful day, you guys, and see you in the next video.